Hello YouTube, this is Vanessic Productions here, and this is a tutorial or tip and how to cut holes and meshes in th Blender 3D. So, in order to do that, you open up your little start scene. You don't really need the camera or the light or in fact the cube. This will work with any mesh, 3D mesh and the add section. We'll go ahead and start with the cube. So once you add the cube, you can go ahead and add any other mesh you want, a torus, cone, cylinder, icosphere, whatever. We'll add the cylinder, rotate that 90 degrees or whatever you want to do, scale it down a bit, and then scale it outwards. So now it should look like this, or whatever object you're using. Just make sure the object you want to use to cut out something is inside the object that you want to be cut out. Go to the object that you want to be cut out, in this case the square, and go to modifier, add modifier, then boolean. Make sure, by default, it's going to be on intersect. You're always going to change it to difference. And then you go to this object box right here. You can click this little dropper thing and scroll over here and click object cylinder, or you can click the actual box and click cylinder. And once you do that, click apply. Now, if you go over to the cylinder, take it out, there's a perfectly cut hole inside of the square. And just to show you that this works with basically any other object, we're going to use this icosphere, take a square, and scale it outwards, make this a bit larger. Now go to the icosphere, add modifier, boolean, difference, object Q, apply. And there we go. That was a simple, easy, very helpful trick for modeling in Blender 3D. This could be helpful for players, I mean for 3D graphics designers who plan on making a weapon, mainly the Tech 9, where it has holes in the barrel and that's what you could use. The reason I am making this video is because I wanted to accumulate for the long absence I've had inside of my channel where I do game development for the games I make. But since I haven't been able to do that for a while, I'm going to be doing short little tips and tricks. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you hopefully you liked and enjoyed. And thanks for watching.